Let's take a look at some of the most exciting players coming back this season. Arguably the best overall player in the state this year isn't even a senior. Anthony Drago is a cold-blooded goal-scoring machine who puts equal fear in long sticks and goaltenders. Anthony Drago buries the 100th goal of his high school career and it comes in style. West Essex is back in this game. Four unanswered goals gives them a 7-6 lead. The West Essex star enters his junior campaign after two straight seasons of 95 plus points and 60 plus goals. The five star attack gets everyone's full attention on the field, but it just doesn't seem to matter. Drago is already committed to Duke and he hopes to take his Knights to new heights in 2024. Tyler Julin proved last year that he was one of the crown jewels of New Jersey High School lacrosse. He found a knack for delivering huge goals in big games. Nolan Sable fights Tyler Julin. He settles, smokes two defenders, and calls game! Tyler Julin comes through with a clutch. Seton Hall Prep takes out Del Barton in an absolute thriller. Julin tallied 36 goals and 23 assists for the 19-2 Seton Hall Prep Pirates. The Prep will once again be one of the state's best programs, and Julin, the Dartmouth commit, will be a major reason why. Bridgewood found themselves standing atop New Jersey at the conclusion of the 2023 season after winning the inaugural Cursed Cup. Virtually everyone returns, including the incredibly well-rounded Jack Schultz. With 36 goals and 35 assists, Schultz found a way to make an impact in nearly every single game for the Maroons a year ago. The Maryland commit is the leader for the preseason number one team in the state. The reigning Group 1 state champions are reloaded for 2024, and Andy Crotick figures to be a key piece to the operation at Rumson Fairhaven. Crotick was the number two option on the offense a year ago, scoring four goals in a secondary role. Just under a minute left in overtime when Leiden finds a wide open Crotick, and that's the winner. Andy Crotick's second goal of the night caps a thrilling RFH comeback. 10 to nine your final. Revenge for the Bulldogs and an early season statement win in South Jersey. Now the sky's the limit for Crotick as he gets the keys to Mark Moreau's offense. Rumson Fairhaven always plays a challenging schedule. Look for Crotick to be relied upon from the get-go. What does it take to be one of the best goalies in America? Well, just check the tape on Pingree stopper Graham Stevens. The five-star rated prospect was a brick wall for the two-time defending Somerset County champions. Stevens is a Harvard commit, and he sported an absurd .699 save percentage as a junior, making him the top goalie once again in New Jersey. Oak Knoll girls lacrosse has turned into a dynasty, and top-tier players like Sophia Loshert are driving the program. She returns for her senior season after last year's eye-popping 89-goal season, which was one of the best in the state. Could she eclipse 100 goals this spring? It's certainly possible. The Royals are going to be a force in Union County and non-public A, with Sophia Loeschert out on the field. You just can't highlight girls across in New Jersey without a representative from perennial public powerhouse Summit. Anya Wardle was a pass-first player in 2023. She averaged three helpers per game and had 69 total assists. Tack on 20 more goals and you have one of the top point scoring seniors in the state. Wardle is committed to Richmond. Haddonfield is one of the best true South Jersey programs and they were able to make a run in group two last year thanks to Lexi Guacu. The Bulldogs reliable goalie is back again for her senior season. Guacu made 146 saves during her junior campaign, and if she can improve on that number, Haddonfield will be a true threat in 2024. Morristown was able to win 19 games and a Morris County Championship last spring, thanks to Megan O'Brien. She led the Colonials with 63 goals and 52 assists for a sparkling 115 point season. She's the only player in the state returning after a 50-50 year. O'Brien, who will join the UConn women's lacrosse program after the season concludes, is going to hit the 300 career point mark in just a matter of weeks. Both the boys and girls lacrosse teams at Rumson Fairhaven were state champions last season. 
Just a sophomore, Rachel James was a standout for the Bulldogs, helping her squad win the final 14 games of the year, including both the Shore Conference Championship and the Group 1 State Championship. James paced the offense with a team-high 65 goals. The Bulldogs are in great shape as a whole with the new season approaching.